I do not want to just jump right into the review because honestly, I'm not. I'm going to have you cross some of the review questions off because some of them don't pertain to your quiz tomorrow. All right, this is the review I gave all my levels of geometry, and some of the questions in there don't pertain to yours, so I don't want to waste your time. Before I even sniff any of those questions in the review, though, let's uh, review properties of a parallelogram. One, two, three, four, five properties. I'm going to need to know tomorrow to do a proof and to answer some algebra questions. Here we go. Properties. 21, start us off. Opposite sides parallel. And I'll leave a put here. Hey, because of this, look for what type of angles have we been dealing with specifically for alternate interior? Oh, never mind. For parallel lines. Look for, that was perfect, alternate interior angles. Yep. Look for them. Look for them. Uh, next property. 18. Opposite sides, are congruent. Opposite sides congruent. All right, more properties I could possibly use tomorrow. Probably will. 14. 11. Wow, you're on a roll. Six. Uh, opposite angles are congruent. Opposite angles congruent. Eight, 11, seven, consecutive angles, supplementary, yep. And one more, definitely don't want to forget about this one. Uh, 17, diagonals bisect each other. And also I'm going to put here, oh, I'm going to put a, what do we call that intersection point of the diagonals? That's the midpoint, right? That is the midpoint. Intersect at the midpoint. All right, more than that tomorrow. I don't know if you remember day one or not from last week, but it had nothing to do with parallelograms. Had to do with all your polygons, all the interior and exterior angles. So real quickly, two formulas. Well, one formula, one fact for tomorrow. What was the sum of the interior angles of any polygon? 20-sided, 30-sided. How do I find all the angles inside? Uh, 19, what's that formula we use? Yep. 180 times n minus 2. Sure, it'll be used tomorrow. And then same question now, but what's the sum of the exterior angles? No formula needed there. doesn't matter how many sides. It's always the same. How many degrees in the exteriors? Uh, 15. 360 degrees. And then the only other thing I want to talk about as far as this day went was if you have a regular polygon regular because you will the, really those are the only polygons we specialize in nowadays what's so great about a regular polygon give me some facts uh 18 okay there's number one all sides congruent number two what else you got for me in a regular polygon what else is so great 22 yep let's just let me get specific all interior angles are congruent and then separately, all the exterior are congruent. Whew. We just blitzed through a ton there. One proof on there tomorrow. One proof, and it will be given a parallelogram, proof triangles congruent. Okay? Given a parallelogram, proof a set of triangles. Okay? Anything else you want to know about the quiz before we start reviewing? Your call. Anything else you want to know? Uh, I will not. Unfortunately, this is why we're doing such a hardcore review today. Uh, I have a meeting after school, so I will not be present. In your packet, let's go to your packet. Please cross off number one. You don't have to worry about anything that difficult tomorrow. Yeah. 
Go ahead, flip it over, and you can cross out. Keep going. Uh, I'm going to end up crossing out uh, numbers number 10, A and B. There's no factoring on your, your version tomorrow. Okay, no factoring on your version. Okay, everything else, though, will be fair game. Will be fair game tomorrow. So let's start talking about a couple of things here. All right, number two. Let's start out with number two. I'm going to give you very little free time to try this out. All right. I want to review as a group, make sure we got these things down pat. All right, take a look at two. The sum. Yep, go ahead, get those calcs out. That'd be good. Because I don't do these for free. Some of the interior angles is 720. How many sides does it have? And no guessing checking. Because tomorrow this thing might have 52 sides in. You're not going to guess and check that. All right. Sum of the interiors is 720. How many sides does the polygon have? You're all in groups right now. One and a half minutes to discuss what's the best approach to this one. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do. Talk about how you're going to approach this one. Algebraically, don't just start guessing sides and playing around with them. All right, let me talk to you here. See how you and your group are approaching this. Three, talk to me here. Or how I did no, it. I just want how he did it. Um, I did 180. Uh, on okay, stop right there. This is the formula we just had, which represents what? That, that When do I use this formula? To find out what they all add up to. And what do they all add up to, Jackson? Uh, Set Equal to 720. Okay, that was it here. Uh, now, you guys here... Each group, each person may solve this differently. The only thing I don't want you to do, don't add two, please, first. Okay? Somehow take care of the 180, whether you divide it or distribute. Don't add two first. Come on. You're better than that. All right, so you can distribute 180 and get after it, or you can divide by 180. Either way, I got N minus 2 equals 4. So N equals 6. If I did have a part B, how do you name that polygon? How do I name it? It's got six sides. What's it called? 11, what's that called? Maybe next time. 10, what's that bad boy called? Six sides. Hexagon, yep. Questions? All right, go ahead. Number three in your group. Now, I'm only giving you one angle inside, not the sum. One angle is 120. How many sides does it have? One angle is 120. How many sides does it have? Talk about it. Talk about it. What's the best way to approach it? I don't think I'm going to have 180 times n minus 2 here. But since it's a logarithm, yeah, I did 
All right, one interior was 120. What do you do with that interior to get to uh, help us get to the sides? Oh, uh, boy. Seven, what are you doing with that interior? And what's that giving you? Um, 60. Okay, what, what's the 60 represent, though? Um, what's 60 degrees? Remember, you're saying you're subtracting it from 180, right? Yeah. So you're telling me the interior and what else has a relationship of 180 degrees? Yeah. So this 60 is your exterior. exterior. Good. And why is it so great that I want to find an exterior angle? I already know what they all add up to. So, Ellie, back to you. What are you doing with that 60? Yep, 360 divided by 60. This thing has six sides again. Okay, six sides. Questions? We all good there? Try to find the exterior tomorrow if you can. Try. All right, I'm going to hit up a proof now. Just so I know we're good. Because it's all multiple choice here. You guys can figure that out on your own. Uh, let's go to number 11. Number 11, I'll help you guys get started, then you and your group will figure out the missing pieces. So I'll let you fill everything in right now, mark your diagram. So it looks like they're giving us the entire quadrilateral as a parallelogram. So those five properties I just reviewed with you earlier, we can use them. I have a question for you, for, actually a couple questions before I let you and your group go. Oh, wait, wait, it's a parallelogram, right? Yep. So isn't PX equal to QX already? Diagonals bisect each other. Right? Diagonals bisect each other. Px has to be equal to Qx. We're done. What do you mean? What? What? What is a diagonal? Connects what? Vertices. Are P and Q vertices in that parallelogram? No. Don't go down that road tomorrow. Those are not, PQ is not a diagonal. So it's not getting, either GI is not getting bisected. Everybody good? All right, so we got to work a little bit tougher, or a little harder, excuse me. How am I going to get PX congruent to QX? Well, those segments are only equal if what's congruent? Triangles. Get a pair, you got CPCTC. Go at it. Here we go. Find triangles that are congruent. CPCTC. Come on. Uh, let's start with uh, 18. Give me a pair of sides or angles in this one. Okay, that's how you got to get a pair of sides, is subtraction. First, though, before you subtract, everyone, make sure before you subtract, do you have the opposite sides congruent, GH and JI? Parallelogram implies opposite sides congruent. Make sure that's in there before you subtract, is it? Is it? And then I can subtract GH minus PH equals JI minus JQ. Subtraction. And then substitution. GP congruent to QI. Substi. We're all good. I got a pair of sides now. Perfect. Next up, still looking for more. Nobody. 15, new pair of sides or angles. Okay. 
That is true. I just need one more step before that, before you say they're congruent. Good. You need to tell me the parallel lines. Again, I said this last week. Tomorrow, you all of a sudden, ah, I don't know which ones to prove parallel. Put them both down. They're both correct. Put both pairs of opposite sides parallel. You know one of them's the right one, and they're both correct anyway. All right, but yes, the correct pair here would be GP parallel to, sorry, not GP, GH. Maybe, there we go. GH parallel to JI. But if you're still unsure, write the other pair down. Parallelogram implies opposite sides parallel. And then you could say the alternate interiors are equal. Perfect. Looks like we saved the last pair, the easiest pair for last, huh? PGX congruent to QIX. What do I got here? Parallel lines imply alternate interior angles congruent. Good. So I got a pair of angles, pair of sides. And then where's my third and final pair coming from? Oh, 19. Yeah, it is vertical. You, you can remember it. You're just playing mind games with yourself. Angle QXI congruent to GXP. Vertical, not reflexive. Get over it. Come on. Vertical angles congruent. And now you tell me the triangles congruent by what method here? What method? Uh, 24, what method did we have here? Angle, angle, side. angle, angle, side. Quick question. Did any group, instead of mentioning the verticals, did any group mention the other pair of alternate interior here and here? You could have. Yeah, you could do angle, side, angle. You didn't even have to everyone see. Those are alternate interior too. That's fine. All right. And then there would have been angle, side, angle. Instead, everyone ended with CPCTC. Good deal. Other questions? Via, hi. Can you have to prove like the diagonal kind of like, um, uh, you know, pretty much is, you know, there or something? What do you mean you got to say it's a diagonal? Yeah. No. Oh, so because like, um, uh, I got, because like, I kind of got a um, lot uh, confused because like, um, uh, well, they don't, but there's no, there's no, here you go, Via. There's only one diagonal in the diagram. So there's nothing's getting bisected. Oh, you need two diagonals yeah. to bisect. Correct. G, diagonal GI can only be bisected by the second diagonal, which it, it doesn't exist in this, in this proof. Good? Okay. So two diagonals can bisect each other, but a non diagonal can't do squat. All right. Okay. Any other questions here? Going. Okay. Go to uh, page 22. I just want to bring your attention. Look at the bottom of page 22. Everyone see the textbook questions? They're, they're pretty good. You might want to take a look at those too. All right. Decide in your group right now. You can keep going with uh, question five, question four, four, five, and so on, or you can go to the textbook. Everyone's going to the same place in a group so you can talk it over as you go along. All right, you choose. You got the rest of the time to go. Stay in the packet or grab a textbook. Go. If you stay in the packet, you start with number four and move on. Start with number four. You crossed out number one. 